shit I'm on Man, man, man. I ain't got 750 to pay Get up off that thing. <laughs> Listen, let, let me start out by saying I don't trust none of you motherfuckers. <laughs> right? Oh, now you don't? <laughs> well, well, especially More. now. Yeah. I don't trust any movie that absorbs the name of the previous movie. Right. <laughs> oh, you, you know, mean, it does, well, it does, you, it's a so-called prequel, but yet it has the same name and, from what I can see, looks exactly like the same movie. This movie absorbed it, <laughs> John Carpenter is a thing. It is weird, though, because it's a prequel, not a sequel. You could do the thing, colon... Something. The beginning. And, and everybody hates that. They could have easily just, just dropped the thing. V, just Caught have thing. thing. Then everybody would have thought it was a movie about that hand from the Adams family. Sure. <laughs> in fact, I think that hand got a lawyer and it's like trying to sue the rich. Still trying to sue John Carpenter's a thing. Motherfucker, I'm the thing. <laughs> and Ben Grimm is there too, like, hey, I was here first, pal. <laughs> <laughs> thing one and a thing two. Yeah, from yeah. Dr. Seuss. And as a prequel, they want to find out what happened to the Norwegian team right. that discovered this alien creature before we see the events of Kurt Russell yeah. and the rest of those guys right. in, in John Carpenter's film. Yeah. You've got the story yeah. taking place probably a few days before yeah. some yeah. Norwegians stumbling upon a gigantic alien spacecraft. Next thing you know, we're back in America and you're seeing like this Norwegian scientist who's talking to Mary with, Elizabeth Winstead. So she's like, well, yeah, we need you to come back and take a look at this thing. All I can tell you is that we found a giant structure in the ice in Antarctica and we found a we, body. Having seen the thing, you know, you're holding back from screaming at the screen don't do it right don't know. <laughs> turns out they found this giant f-ing alien body in the ice right near it too they bring it back to their station and there are all these guys there there's like a bunch of norwegians there's a couple helicopter pilots that are american yeah, played couple, by yeah. joel uh, edgerton and, and uh, i'm not no. even trying to say his name <laughs> Adewale, oh, Adewale, oh, okay john mr uh, echo and so they're like wow this is fantastic we found alien life let's party and the thing busts out of the ice it disappears. From there on, you've got a long period of basically a movie like the original thing for a while where you're watching people go, how do we know who's who's actually this thing as the, the female scientist discovers that, that it takes people's cells, takes them over, and then imitates them. What are those? I think they're fillings from someone's teeth. I found them by a puddle of blood in the shower. A puddle of blood? It can clone cells, but not inorganic material. It couldn't copy these... So it spit them out. We wasted too much time already. Losh! Listen! When I went back to check it, someone had cleaned up the blood. Someone had wiped it away. All right, so whatever it is, it is still here. It, there's a moment that it feels like it's just going to go down the same path from there yeah, on out. Right. But it doesn't. It goes a different way entirely because there's that point where it suddenly goes, let's make this just a flat out monster chase movie. And that, in my mind, is where the film made a really good decision. It's, let's let's be clear. That. The original wow. is a classic, if not the definitive, paranoia bottle film. Yes, a bunch of is. people closed in a place they can't escape from. And one of them is a killer. Where it starts to fall short early on is the characters. Because you got a bunch of Swedes out there don't really get to know many of them no so when they get bumped off you don't really feel it Mm -hmm. and even like the american actors you don't really know them i mean who you really know is mary elizabeth winstead and the guy who hired her who's kind of an asshole can i ask you a question sure did it kill the black man let me put it this way is a black man out where there's nothing but snow and ice now what do you think his chances are (laughs) i'm like Coles. i'm relieved that he got killed Oh, well, I thought it was a creature that could like morph itself into anything, but then it'd probably be racist. Like, no, nah, I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, looking at the thing, you know, I, I'd rather be an ugly monster from outer space. <laughs> than be a black, black man, and, you know, black. Well, you know, he's a he's a rich, successful actor. Yeah, but I'm gonna see how this alien thing. Yeah, works. I'd rather he turns into a black man, and first thing he looks around and goes, Jesus <laughs> Christ, it's so cold. What the. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no sense of that tension that you got with the original to where I mean, you, you were familiar I won't, with I won't it. say there's none, but not enough. The advantage of having that many characters is that, hey, we got lots of characters to kill and True. really make mm-hmm. it nasty. Yeah. It's far from a perfect film. I yeah. mean, it's full of flaws. And yet, the things it does right, it does very right. There's a lot of stuff to like here. And I don't feel like a lot of the flaws are really glaring. I went into this film looking for things to dislike. Sure. And I think I came out the other side more satisfied than not. Going, it's not going to supplant John Carpenter's a thing. It's no. not even come close to supplanting it. But it's a decent splatter horror film right. in its own right. And I give it a matinee. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much right there with you on everything you said. I mean, I come in at more of a low matinee just because there's enough here to enjoy. Play. I don't know if I still need to see this movie anyway. I had, I. <laughs> I felt like I've already seen it. I remember being at a party with y'all. Well, let's just say I had some uh, some bad 
<laughs> and uh, I saw Leon and Cyrus standing next to each other, and they morphed into each other real quick. And I was like, that's hard fine enough to me right there. <laughs> you, you still owe me 20 bucks for that good <laughs> by the way. <laughs> you two still need to separate from each other. <laughs> I ain't recovered yet. Time to make it.